عليكم مرحبا يا شباب كيف الحال This is Mona and this is a quick tutorial on how to use a storyboard that So storyboard that is the website that you're going to use in order for you to be able to create your own comics Okay, so in the assignment instructions given by me or by your teacher uh, You should receive this link. So storyboardday.com slash classroom Okay, so you're gonna go there and then you're gonna click on I am a new user and then you put your username password and Then confirm the password and then terms and the conditions. So you're gonna register. Okay, then you will be directed to this um, page so you should actually receive this also in the assignment instructions or from your teacher so school and teacher name in my case it's just this and an access key um, this is an access key that you again receive in the assignment instruction okay so I'm just putting this right but then you see it in the instructions and then you copy whatever the access key that is there and you put it here and then put your name preferably your real name okay so now that I put my access key and I put my real name I click join and then I will be directed to the class so now this is your dashboard uh, you can see my assignment in your assignment section so this is the assignment okay I really care more about Google Classroom assignments because you know you, you will submit it there um, and then if you already created the storyboard then you can see it here is a tutorial and this is a template basically template if I want you to, to use a certain template I'll indicate uh, so but you can get it from here uh, in this case I'm just posting this for trial but I don't need you to uh, use any template basically I want you to create your own storyboard and then this is the class that you registered in uh, and this is your account details so right now we're gonna move to create a storyboard or create a comic so what do you see here is a set, set of options above and below we're gonna start by the layout the storyboard layout uh, so you might want to change in the storyboard layout sort of so you can have a traditional storyboard mostly in comics that's uh, that's one way of doing it um, a t-chart a grid a chart uh, or any of that for instance I'm gonna just uh, for instance I'm gonna choose this one okay and you see it it changes and then I can create that I just wanted the cell to be only a cell layout so comparing that cell layout only with when I clicked on the flyer I get to see that there's certain definitions characteristics and all of that okay but mostly I think you're gonna just click on the uh, traditional storyboard but just in case if you have a another creative idea um, I really want to do something with the cells I don't want the cells to be this way or I want a different number of cells uh, so here we go what what I'm I am going to do here is to add more cells so for instance I'm gonna add that means these are gonna be removed so I'm gonna have one line but three cells or four cells or five cells or two kind of lines but you know three panels in each line okay so update storyboard and here here we go we have that uh, moving cells when we actually start working uh, on a storyboard and then copy cells same advanced tools you might want to check that it's not really a big deal but you can change on the cell size so by scrolling up and down I think this this is currently is a very good uh, size so, sort of but, um, and then you can undo redo and save <coughs> make sure to save your stuff okay just so you don't spend two hours working on something and then unfortunately you didn't save it so you lost it so you do have to save it manually save it yeah like here okay so starting with this actually creating your comic now we have certain scenes uh, it's classified by um, theme <laughs> 
So, whom, home, indoor, outdoor, school, stuff. historical, U.S. history, country, outdoor. Okay, so I'm going to just choose home, indoor. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get like a bedroom. And then, uh, let's see, I want a bathroom. And let's see, I'm going to use a school. So, front of the school, whatever that you want to do. Now, you notice that there's something pops up every time you put a scene, yeah? Which is basically edit scene. So, you can actually rotate. Let's just try that. So, I'm changing that direction. Layers, certain layers or not. I don't know. Uh, you can copy that in order for you to be able to put it. So, if I copied it, see, I can move it to this one. But I actually don't want this copy, so I'm just going to delete it from this X uh, side. And then you can crop it, and then you can switch to fill. So, for instance, if it's like this, I want it basically to fill in the cell. Okay. And then I can have certain filters. Uh, like, let's see, black and white, sort of. Okay, or I can, you know... The color of the sky. What is the color of the sky in this case? <laughs> it's too black. Okay, so edit scene. By editing scene, you can actually uh, change in the characteristics of this scene. So you can choose day, night, or daytime or night. In this case, I'm choosing night. The the weather is it clear? Snow? Will it rain? Tamam. So I'm gonna click snow and then update scene. Yeah. So that you can do with every single scene that you put. So I have here three scenes. I can do that. So just real quick, we can change. We can remove the no bed, furniture, windows, uh, all of them. Okay. And then I'm going to move to characters. Okay. So I can select characters, adults, teens, kids, jobs, sports. And most importantly, because we're dealing with Arabic, is that sometimes I have things like uh, related to culture, very specific to culture. So like, for instance, cultural. Um, for instance, um, hijabi lady or like hijabi girl, like this one. Okay. Oh, maybe not in the toilet, in the bitter. <laughs> okay, so or this guy, or this guy. So these are characters that, Taban, you can choose among many of the characters that they have, kids or certain professions, um, or sports, or anything, no problem. But just to know that culture have some hijabi girls and some very culture specific characters. Okay, now I have this character in here. I can actually, again, rotate layers, edit, copy it, um, you know, just um, change the size, crop it, or just, like, if I'm cropping it, I can, like, say, like, I don't want her legs in the picture. Actually do this, and then try again and do a crop image. So, you see that her, her legs are cut off. So, yeah. Uh, but I'm going to undo that from here, remember? And then I can actually change in the hair, skin, eyes, makeup, Almira, I think Al Amira, I think they mean hijab in this case. Shirt, pants, all of that you can change in the color. And most importantly, you can edit their pose. So you can edit their pose basically by just choosing Insta poses. Uh, so she's happy. So see how that makes it. Sad. See. So it automatically changes how her arms are um, in position and also her face. Uh, her facial expressions, Taban, if you're expressing a certain meaning, you really want to show that in the face and in the body, in the in the pose. So, because you're not just saying things, you say, you're delivering meanings and you want to make sure that the character is delivering that meaning as well. So, if I don't have these Insta poses, so she's not walking or sitting or sleeping or whatsoever, uh, then you can actually change in that sort of manually by changing the head position. This She has a certain expression. And then her arm, her left arm, her right arm, her legs, how uh, it's going to be uh, in the, you know, presented in your uh, comic. And then you might have a side view or a back view. Yeah. Okay, so 
let's choose side view and then up to update the pose yeah طيب, uh, then we move to textables and this is extremely important when you're dealing with foreign language yeah so i want her actually so i'm going to move her here just by clicking on her it's very simple and very easy to do so um remember that i can rotate her in order to just change the direction that she's looking at right and left direction okay then i'm i'm going to get this um bubble or balloon I can extend it in size again same features I can change the color here is the important part if you're typing in a foreign language make sure that you're choosing the correct font so you have list of fonts at the very end you have some three Arabic fonts choose those otherwise the letters are going to be disconnected and it's going to be awful <laughs> So just make sure that, for instance, I'm choosing Latif and then I'm selecting the font to be teen uh, and I'm typing Assalamu Alaikum, for instance. Now still, you will see that it's a different font, ju so just change it to the font that you want, okay? The only issue that I had with these fonts is that sometimes, unfortunately, like I have to highlight what I wrote or just make sure that this is the one that is selected because once you click in a different position you see that it automatically gets back to a different font which is you know in my case it's working but in other cases of students i've seen that it doesn't work so just make sure to choose these fonts and let's try another arabic font i'm going to try and write something else here so i'm going to copy my character and let's see that she's in the the snowy with her and then she's thinking about something she's thinking. so i'm gonna click on that and then write masalan so i'm gonna highlight that and then choose this font one thing that i need to <laughs> stress on unfortunately you know i'm glad that storyboard that supports arabic but when it comes to punctuation it's really a, a hassle not only on the storyboard that but also other uh, comic websites comic creation websites and then i'm gonna write an exclamation mark in order for you to see where the exclamation mark went so you note that it should be at the end of the sentence when i wrote it at the end of the sentence but it just moves directly to the beginning of the sentence sort of so that will need some challenges um maybe just move your cursor and just put it here may i have a okay question mark that's fine and then once you put this dot it's gonna move to the right although it should be on the left but then if you continue typing it should move automatically to the other direction uh, so basically yeah that's that's what you're gonna have uh, to deal with when it, when it comes to writing in arabic but it should be fine and then we can move to shapes so these shapes, for instance, I want my, um, I want a certain shapes. I don't know if you're going to use that in comics, but you have 3D shapes. You can use actually like a bowl, an apple or something. She's eating something that is not in the scene or she's dealing with something that is not in the scene. Click on these symbols or arrows or numbers or hands or 3D shapes and select one that you will put in the scene. And then web and technology science is basically very kind of major specific. Uh, if you want to talk about something related to science, you will find some diagrams in here. If you want to talk about something related to web and technology, see, uh, you will also find someone in here. So see, this is this is really good make sure that you save regularly so just you click on save and then if you have a list of assignment just put in an assignment and then in my case i'm just not going to put an assignment and i will say trying and i can write the description and then i save my storyboard okay I mean, actually, that's what you see after you're done with 
um, your storyboard, but I'm gonna get back and edit that. So, because we're still not done. So as I said, you have shapes within technology science and then you can upload pictures. If you want a certain picture, you can upload that also from here. Okay, just to have a look on the shapes because it took some time. So here we go, we have symbols, we have numbers and we have hands. Okay, so uh, that's it basically. I'm just gonna save it again. And then you will be directed to this page. So save and continue. And save or save and exit. So we're saving and we're exiting in order for us to be able to either download that or edit it or copy it or view saved history or just delete it, print it, download images, slideshow and embed in a website. Basically what you're gonna need to do is nothing. Either if you wanna download that, that's fine. So you can download that image pack. That means that you have a certain each, probably each panel it's gonna be in a certain image. So let's try that. Okay, so once I have that, <coughs> so you see, I have each cell or each panel is going to be in, each cell it's going to be in a different picture, okay? And I can also download that as a high resolution image. That means all of my uh, panels are going to be in one page or all of my cells are going to be in one page. I uh, share it as social media as a PDF or a PowerPoint. I think that's really... Uh, clear now yeah you can record an audio okay so you can record audio I'm gonna allow it and then I'm just gonna start recording mainly you can add music if you want um not copyrighted <laughs> okay so stop the recording and then you have a recording that is sort of attached to that and then going um unless that is uh, until that is saved so this is already added to a certain assignment storyboard description storyboard text so it, it it's actually a good thing because it puts all of the text that you put in that storyboard in this uh, part and then if you have comments be the first to comment on the storyboard okay so um, you can also see this storyboard can only be viewed by you and your teacher. So once you actually create a storyboard and uh, put in an assignment and all of that, I am able to see it. Okay, so I kind of I am able to see that. Type uh, um, basically other than that is our audio. Other than that, there is nothing else. Uh, this was a detailed tutorial. But there's one thing that I need to um, just highlight if you have any difficulty writing in Arabic or anything like that. I'm not, I mean, technical difficulties. Not that you're slow or something. That's okay. <laughs> but if you, if the letters are disconnected or something like that, you can consult this page or uh, uh, let me know. But um, storyboard that supports Arabic and you have these different Arabic fonts. So... That's a good thing. But you can consult this page. I will also put it in the instructions. Okay? That's it. Um, I'll see you next time. Ma'asalam. Bye-bye.